We are doing exercise two on page 83. And the question reads, calculate the volume of concrete to water in the slab and edge beam. Allow 5% waste. Now, when we look at our slab here, it's an L-shaped. So this is an irregular shape, first up. So we have to divide this into two parts, area one and area two. So we're going to work out our slab. We have to work out the volume, but we're going to get the area. So the rule we're going to use here is volume is going to be area times the depth. So we're going to get volume one. So um, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to do area one and then area two. So when I look at area one, I'm looking at the length here, 3.7 plus 4.2. So that's going to give you 7.9. 7.9 times my 6.45 with my width here. Area two is going to be, my length is going to be 3.7 by 4.18. Now you need to get an answer for each of those there. So if you could do the calculations on that for me please. So we're going to do and we should get for the first one you should get 50.955 and on area 2 you're going to get 15 Point four six six. Now we need to add those two together, area one plus area two, and we're going to get an answer of 66.421. Now that is only my area. We have to now times that by the depth for the slab, and the slab depth is here. We're going down to our drawing here and at 0 0.13 we convert and we're going to get an answer of 8.635 metres cubed. Now I need that answer for later on so I'm putting a box around it or you could highlight it. So we've just found the volume for the slab is 8.635. Now we have to get the volume for our edge beam. So let's look at our figures for our edge beam. This is our width at 420, 0 0.42 I'm converting. I need the depth of my edge beam there. So it's going to be 570 minus 130. So 0, 4 and a 4, so it's going to give you 440, so 0 0.44. Now, to get the length of our edge beam, we've got to go around the here, where the thickened edge beam, and we're going to do intos and overs on our corners to minus the width of the footing. Remember, the reason we do this is so we don't double up in the corner. So I'm going into, over, into, over, disregard that line there, into, over, and we're labelling our sides A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay. So I've labelled each of the sides, they've got the, the sides up there, and we're going to take our 0 0.42 off the sides, except for our internal corners. Can anyone put in the chat box why we don't take anything off C and D, these two here? Why we're not taking anything off? What happens to C and D? We're not taking anything off. I'm going to put a zero there straight away so I don't forget why. Okay, so the reason is that our C 
if we look at our C, original C was 4.18 and all I've done is move it along. Our D side has not changed at all with that line across there. It is still 4.2. So I'm going to go to each of the sides now and take off um, the 4.2 of each of them. Now A, I need to add these two figures together. So 6.45 plus 4.1. 1, 0 is going to give me 10.630 minus 0 0.42. B is 3.7 minus 0 0.42. C, I've already got my zeros in place so I don't forget. 4.18 minus 0. D, 4.2 minus 0. C, uh, e is 6.45 minus 0 0.42 and F I need these two sides together so that's going to be my 7.9 minus 0 0.42 now I want you guys to use your calculator and find out the figures here we'll just wait a moment and find out the length of the footing. So I'll go through them and um, 10.21, 3.280, and this one is going to be 4.C. C I've got as 4.18 and D 4.2 and this one is going to be E is going to be 6.6.03 and F is going to be 7.48 now we need you to add these up and if someone could put an answer in the chat box that would be fantastic please Wait a moment while you add those all up. And you should get an answer of 35.38. Now that is my length of the edge beam. So I like to actually write the word length against that. Because some people get mixed up and think they've done the volume. It's the length of the edge beam going all the way around. So now our length is coming here at 35.38, sorry a bit squashy there, and times by my width of the footing of 0 0.42 times by 0 0.44, the depth. So we do the calcs on that and we get a figure of 6.538 metres cubed and I want that answer. That's my edge beam answer now. Now I have to add my slab answer for the volume and my edge beam answer. So I'm just writing that down. 8.635 plus 6.538. We add those two together and you're going to get an answer of 15.173 metres cubed. Now, that is not my final answer. You will always be asked to add weight. So always go back to your question when you think you've answered it. We're adding 5% weight. So we're going to times that by 1.05. And so 1 is the whole amount and the 5 is added on. So that's the quick way to do it. And my volume answer is 15.9. 9.32 metres cubed for concrete. Now that is the volume, but that is not the concrete order. We want an order. I want to ring up or text or email somebody. I have to order 16 metres cubed. Remembering we're doing increments of 0.2 rounding up for concrete orders. I hope everybody understood that. If any, anyone has any questions, can you please write it in the chat room, please?